YouTube. Figured I'd make you guys a video of my Harley Davidson Electroglide. It's the Electroglide Classic. Now I bought this approximately a year ago. I know it was either February or March of 2017. And fortunately I did a lot of sitting this year as we, me and my girlfriend moved a decent amount of times. With every move, if we, I got further and further from base. You know, once that happened, I kind of just sat because winter came and by the time I got situated, and wasn't able to ride it much this year. I do keep it maintained. I love this Harley. And uh, I do plan to do some upgrades and little cosmetic things here and there. You know, I don't like this big windshield. I like to put one of those sleeker windshields right across. That goes right across over here. Possibly a little tinted. I'd like to replace the lights with LEDs. I want to give it a, a newer, classier look. Which really contradicts itself if you think about it. A new, classy look. Because most new things don't look classy. Yeah, when I bought this motorcycle, I actually uh, had a lot of problems in the beginning. I bought it from a Harley Davidson dealership out in New Jersey. And when I arrived there, the radio didn't work. And I was a little bummed out. So uh, they were like, all right, let's see what we can do for you. They looked it over like, oh, the radio's broke. There's nothing we can do for you. So I was like, okay, well, uh, let me reinspect it before I finish signing all these papers that you guys kind of rushed me into. Long story short, they ended up giving me new lights. Uh, but the problem was, when they did all the rewiring, or whatever they did, you know, they replaced the lights, but messed with the fuses and wiring. The turn signals no longer worked, and the brake light didn't work. So I was running, this was, it was just a mess of a night. It took me about four and a half hours in 25 degree weather to get home from New Jersey all the way to Maryland. Pretty funny story how it all happened. It was pretty last minute. Wasn't even expecting to buy it, but I ended up buying it. I think the main reason I bought it was because I like the bigger bikes. And it does have the pack that goes on the back, but I took it off because it was actually broken. The, the mounts for it were broken, and I just never put it back on since I never really rode it this year. Or well, last year, since it's 2018 now. But yeah, so this, this bike's got, actually, let's take a look. How many miles does it have? It's been a minute since I've looked. 33,524 miles. Now I bought it with, I believe it had 31 or 32,000 miles. So I put like 1,500 miles on it this year. Nothing crazy, but it prime. It does have Vance and Heinz pipes. The luggage, uh, luggage rack had uh, LEDs built into it along with the speakers, but I'm sure most of these had them too. Uh, I'll give it a quick startup. I'm not gonna run it for more than a few seconds, but here it goes. I'd really like not to annoy my neighbors today, so uh, I'm not gonna leave it running. But uh, we'll show you guys the lights. So the accessory lights do work. And they look pretty nice and sleek. I do like the way they look. Everything does work now. I can turn on those front lights. And probably hard to see with the lens. But those are brand new, brand new lights in the front. Great condition overall. I was thinking about selling it for a little while, but now I think I might just keep it. Now this is a 2000 up from where I was, because apparently the camera shut off on me. But this is a 2002 Harley Davidson Electric Glide Classic. Overall, great condition. Could use a nice wash and a wax, but that's gonna have to wait till later on this year. I'd also like to change out the seat because it's fluffy as it looks. It's really not that comfy when you're riding long distance. I was pretty surprised. I've always owned smaller motorcycles and this was the first big motorcycle that I've owned and it was definitely a surprise when I first rode it.